really give a fuck what you think, though, for real. I don't really give a fuck what you think, really give a fuck, huh? I'm just gonna be me for real in real life, nigga. What up, YouTube? What's poppin'? What up, what up, what up? What's going on? It's Miami. Kells. You already know. So what we got today? We flipped it. We flipping it today. Yeah, we yeah, yeah. It. So, um, I'ma need y'all studs. Y'all pretty boys. Y'all dimes, AGs, whatever y'all want to call yourself. To get a pen and a paper. Matter of fact, if you got like a, a, a iPhone, Blackberry, put that shit in your memo pad. Because films... They tired of y'all. <laughs> they tired. Tired, alright? I'm just tired. Sick and tired of being sick and tired. Of your ass. <laughs> of this ass. <laughs> of anybody ass. Who's a stud? They ain't tired of my ass because I ain't do it to you. Yeah, we ain't, do, ain't it. do it. But we out here to definitely um hold y'all down on this one because y'all always swear we're going to have y'all back. So we going in... For the films. Yes, sir. Since we always chopping it. Yes, sir. <laughs> and we ain't even screwing it up this time. But I'm saying, like, you can't expect us to know anything on the other end when we don't, we not in that exactly. circle. We don't, we don't mess with stuff, so we don't know what y'all deal exactly. with. Exactly. We no. live the life. So and you know what? We don't know. Uh, it's apparent that uh, y'all shouldn't be putting up with some motherfucking uh, I'm bullshit. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm sorry. Damn, definitely. Had us sorry. rolling. Definitely. Y'all went off on Facebook, so we definitely had to do a video about this, all right? So, so what, what was the post you put up? What the post, um, the post was uh, pretty much like, you know, I be going off on y'all films. So <laughs> let us know what y'all films hate about us studs. Within literally about 30 minutes of posting that, I had got 50 comments on that. All right? So, and this wasn't even from studs. This was just films just going in. Fams going off. They went, not even in. Motherfuckers went ham. They fucking six feet deep dug that ass body job. Word. So studs. We need to step this motherfucker up a Obviously. notch. Yeah, we need to bring this shit up. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all ain't holding it down. Wherever y'all at. Sad. I'm sad yeah, about, about you know what I'm saying? I'm sad. So, uh. First thing was, they had a problem about the hygiene issues. Okay? <laughs> Don't we discussed this already. Okay? They got a problem with the crotch. Okay? They don't want to dig through the fortress. <laughs> they Nobody don't want to fucking hunting. cornrow your underarm hairs. <laughs> they tired of seeing the deodorant like stuck to those good old good olds on the arms. Wait, wait, you're going too fast. Break it down from step to step. I Break it down from I'm step. Saying that now. Listen, okay. listen. No, no, no. We no, gonna no. we gonna start off <laughs> with the vagina. All right. We gonna go with the vagina. All right. Fine. You wanna be on your Asalamu Alaikum shit and not, you know, your Black Panther movement. <laughs> But I'm going to need you men shave down there if it makes you feel any better. Men, trim it. So, I do. trim it. Just trim it. Just, you know, trim it. Keep it neat. You know, don't, you know, just keep it as neat as possible. It ain't got to be bald, just neat. Yeah, you know? it don't, you know, Even have though a... some girls don't like hair at all, but sometimes exactly. you can't shave all the way. You might be irritated. You don't yeah. like how it feels when the shit's going um, back. Understandable. Yeah, wax it. You but... Know? You got to keep it, uh... Keep it neat. Keep your lawn mowed. <laughs> yeah. Keep your lawn mowed. <laughs> exactly. Definitely keep okay. it neat. Um... That's not, a. That's not... It's definitely not a good look, number one. Number hair two, on the legs. Yeah, the hair on the legs. Listen, baby, it ain't it ain't wintertime, honey. It's summertime. We need them legs to really shine and look Gillette, fine. Gillette. Yeah. The best a man can get. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you don't want to use the gel, use soap, use body wash. Just get it done. Exactly. No, that's um, not the wave either. You're still no. a female. Yeah, don't. Yeah, it no. don't. First of all, hair don't look good on nobody's legs. Okay. Nobody. <laughs> Men, I'll be looking at them in the summertime. Mm -mm. Fucking. Look. Fucking. <laughs> big metric. legs, mad hair. Like that's nah, ugly. Yeah. That's yeah. ugly. Shave your belly line too. That that happy line. Fems aren't happy about that line. They got the sad face. Yeah. So I mean, I got sure a little happy it. line, but mine's is like real, real, real tiny, tiny. Yeah. We you talking know. about if you could corn roll down? Yeah, that shit ain't cute. If you could bring cute. it all the way down? That shit ain't cute at <laughs> all. Not the wave. At all. That's not the wave. That's not the movement. It's popping. At so all. So basically, body hair. They're tired of it. Yeah, they're tired. Ready for it. You know, uh, the underarms. The underarms. It ain't cute when you're wearing a beater and you want to put your hand up and. They see the bush. And, you know, just to let you know, having a bush gives you stronger odor. Strong, yeah. like, like lifting yeah. weight strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that ain't, and then you be in the club dancing with those pits. <laughs> yeah. Yo, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. The arms. Yeah. Not, <laughs> the cute not cute at all. Not cute at all. It's not working. It's not the movement. So, we gonna, 
we gonna uh, need y'all to step it up. Make sure when you wash down there, you wash properly. If you do the rag, if you do the sponge, if you do summer ease, if you just do water, do something to make that odor go away because it's appearance to Fems. And then they told us, did you know what I'm saying? Y'all smell down there. We're grown. We're women. We're grown women. I'm quite sure our parents taught us, our mothers at that, taught us how to wipe and wash. Wipe and wash. Wipe and wash. So handle that. Please. <laughs> Thank studs you. who don't like their fems being friends with other studs. What's up? I mean, I'm saying, like, fuck you need to be a studs friend for. Like, I can see if it was a fem or whatever. I ain't got no problem with that. You know, you right, being friends with another right, friend. Right, right, But I'm saying, like, fuck you need to be with studs. I don't what? want no other fucking stud pressing my girl. Like, what I look like, I don't care if y'all knew each other since y'all was younger or whatever the case. Like, how I know they ain't got a motive. How I know they don't want to holler. No. Um, niggas knew, knew her before you was even around. Exactly. Why she got to stop being friends? Exactly. Why she can't make new stud friends? Because it's because you feel like... See? What's the difference? The baggy clothes? Yeah. That don't mean nothing. A fem will come take your girl. How about that? There you go. That's exactly what I'm saying. That? You know what I'm saying? You got... Then who you got to be worried about. How about like, that? Like, oh, it's just a friend kiss. Exactly. That friend kiss, right. And now she fucked your girl. Now you exactly. mad. Exactly. And now... Or you think it's cute because it's a fem. What's the difference? It ain't no motherfucking What's the difference? difference? The clothes no is difference. baggy? Yeah, don't let... You know what I'm saying? Why like, do you care? You should have enough self-esteem. And Confidence. be comfortable enough with yourself. Confidence. And your relationship Confidence. should be strong enough that you don't care who your girl is friends exactly. with as long as it ain't a dude. <laughs> and you know, it, it and even then, it doesn't yeah, matter. Because it takes two. If exactly. she decides to go fuck, then that's on her. That's what and I'm saying. And she's like, a slaughterhouse. Yeah. Like I'm saying, like, stop trying to press your girl hard body and have her in the chokehold and all that shit. Yeah. She gonna do what she wanna do regardless. You can't be with her 24-7. And, it's and all again, it takes two. Yeah, and on top of that, you know what I'm saying? A part of a relationship is trust. If you don't trust your girl, you don't need to be with your girl. That's real nigga shit right there. For real. So, okay. um, if you feel like you gotta have your shorty on a leash because you feel like somebody's gonna take her from you, then she wasn't yours to begin with. Exactly. So, keep that in mind. Studs <laughs> going from zero to 60. Yo, she yes. said She said exactly that, though. Studs yeah, going from zero, zero to, to 60, 60 when another stud comes around. Yeah, what what's up? What she mean by that? What she mean by that? It's Yo, I don't know about y'all, but I know about me. What you know about this nigga right here? And I'm quite sure we get that same heat. Studs always be grilling like, come on. I don't know you, We fam. talked about this already in the yeah, Pitbull Studs thing. Yeah, come on, yo. I don't know you, You fam. know, you Studs, know they'll me. be mad regular. Because this is what she was saying in the comment. Like, they'll be mad regular. Yeah. Then the stud will come in, and she's like, oh, they saw grabbing they nuts and all. They on something. When did we become gangsta? I'm saying. They saw talking mad loud, mad shoulders, mad hands. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> You was mm -hmm. just calm. Exactly. And now you seen now you another became gangster. AG, Dom, whatever come in, and now you feeling the way. Yeah. Why though? That's to me, <laughs> to me, that's lack of confidence. You know what I'm saying? That's immaturity. And um, we need to stop that shit because at the end of the day, we need to stick together because this is a community and we got to unify in order to, you know what I'm saying? Do a little better. That's Please. it. So stop Please. hating. Hating ain't hating ain't cool, man. Hating it was never cool, man. So step your hating game up and not hate. All right? Next. So um, the next one. Bald studs and overly masculine studs. Yeah, what they mean about that shit. What they mean to you, Kev? Well, what she had said was, this ain't shit. us talking, remember, this ain't nah, us talking. Nah, this is all this shit. This is all shit what did. the fans yeah. were saying. This is how they feel. One couldn't express enough how she hates a stud that's bald. Yeah. Or doesn't have any hair or any real feminine features. And also herself. dirty scalp. I don't, know, <laughs> I don't know how many bald studs with dirty scalp. Yeah, but. I, all right. But, <laughs> <laughs> but she said pretty much studs that don't have feminine features, studs who don't realize they're still a woman and don't want to still embrace embrace that side of themselves, who go too, too hard to be a man or be masculine or whatever the case. So, um, yeah, the ladies is not feeling that, bro. Yeah. Like, um, you know, your shit be on 10. You need to keep it, be yourself, be comfortable. Yeah, like a seven. You know? Don't feel like you gotta overly, overly do it. Don't feel like you gotta turn into fucking Mr. Clean and shit when you gotta <laughs> approach your fam, you know? Yeah. Like, it's not it's not that serious for them. You kinda turning them off, actually. Cause they like women. Like, you know? Um, this is what they're saying. This is not what I'm saying, what she's saying. This is what they're saying. This is what they're saying. You know nothing what I'm saying? wrong with wearing a low haircut and all that, cause I don't see nothing yeah, wrong with it. Yeah, I don't see but, it. But um, I think what they're saying is you trying to overdo it with the, you know, coming at them like a dude and. 
grab me across and wear yeah, like, your strap. That's kind of ugly. That's a little extreme. That's kind of ugly. That's very extreme. Um, next one that the films be talking about, you know what I mean? The films, and they definitely, every film to comment also put this within the comment. So, I'm going to need us to get a job. <laughs> Studs. Get a fucking job. Please get a job. Yeah, I heard a lot of y'all niggas out there got your hand out. Yeah, please. That shit don't look good. That's ugly. That's that's not the fucking movement. Like, one girl, she said, she said, if you want to act like a man, play the role like a man, that means you better step that shit up. She coming at you. Family. Yeah, she, coming she at you. hard. Real hard. So I'm, I'm saying, need she ain't wrong, though. Not at all. Because you, you, you want to you know? be the dominant one, be that dominant one with that hand out, too. Like, hit. I mean, not that hand out like this, but more like that hand out like, yeah, you know? Studs be quick to say, oh, they want to girl like this this and that again like i said don't don't ever don't ever 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 request anything that you're not willing or able to put out yourself exactly don't be oh i need a chick that got this and got that do you have it yourself if you if got you it yourself then you can request it if you don't sit the fuck down all right simple as that all right simple as that you know what i'm saying like get a job you know i understand you should want a job for you yeah exactly i understand want a job for you. Nah, but you know what today's economy is very difficult to get a job fine but when you haven't had a job for like a year, niggas gonna have to start wondering, yeah. like, do you really want Every that job? Every now and then, everybody fall under the bus. Yeah, okay. you know what I'm saying? Everybody's but, uh, situation. But you need to be looking hard. And, you know, get motivated. You know, do what you gotta do. Hustle, do something. Because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? In order in order to have a relationship, you gotta have a job, both individuals. Because as much as people don't want to admit it, the financial aspect has a lot to do with the, with the, with the relationship, you know? And uh, a job, you should want to do that for yourself. You never, ever want to depend on anybody because you don't ever want anybody to put that shit back in your face. And so, that's what they'll uh, do. Yeah, you know, they're quick Girls to be like, to do that. yeah. AGs and films. Yeah, so. so get a job for yourself. It ain't nothing better than going in your wallet and getting something to eat when you want to get something to eat. Yeah, that's a great that's a look. look. Do um, that. And when you do get that money to get that, you know what I'm saying, once you're working and shit, can we please get better sports bras? <laughs> This is not my request. This is not something I'm saying. <laughs> Yo, am I lying? If I'm lying, I'm fucking flying. And apparently I'm still on the ground. You know what I mean? So. Better sports bras? <laughs> better sports bras, dingy ass boxes. Yeah. I guess all that Victoria's Secret they do in lingerie. Can we at least have some boxes without the holes and some saggy yeah, ass sports bras? This is all requests by them. This yeah. is not us. Requests by them. Yeah, this is this is them. This they is said them. Your, your, your drawers is dingy. Holy. Said your sports bra is holy. And saggy. Your, your, your shits is sagged. That means your boobies. Okay. That means you need a new sports bra. If you, if, they said you, you look know, bad. Your it, socks is dingy. Yeah. You know? That's your beat is dirty. That's it's what not they even said. white. It's more yellowish. Your white tee is a beige tee. That's what they said. And you know what, Studs? As much as y'all think it's the outer appearance, it's actually the inner appearance. Like, when the clothes come off, they want to make sure that you have the hygiene. Clean. Part. Yeah, you know? Cause all think this about it, fool. Think about it. Think about it. When you see a chick, femme, whatever, whatever your style is, whatever, when it's, when it's time to get down to the good old, good old, you're going to expect her bra to be clean. I've seen some dingy bras. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna expect her bra strap to be clean. The panty line to have that. That's how you can tell if a chick is clean. Look at her bra strap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, clean bras, you know, panties. They want the same thing. Yeah. Clean boxes. Clean beaters. You know. Shaved on their arms. It ain't gotta be nothing expensive. Just clean. Yeah, just you know, Hanes. Clean. Hanes is the way to yeah, go. Yeah, just it's be the clean. Way. Yeah, clean. You know. Okay. Um, for the big girls. This is what they said. Once again, the big girls, they they want you to stop wearing beaters if you're big out in the streets. I don't know what that means. That's what they said. Yeah. I guess the child, you know. Not us, they said yeah, that. you know, for me, it's just like, fine, if you're a big girl, put on dark colors, like a black beater. Or wear a beater that may be a little bigger than your size, so you, it won't show all your, you know. That's what they said. We ain't saying Yeah, we ain't saying that. You know, I ain't really checking you out like that. But. <laughs> That's what they say. Yeah. I think basically they're trying to say, make yourself look a little neater. You yeah. know what I mean? Again, it all goes back to certain things ain't for everybody. We made a video about sexy sag versus shitty sag. Yeah. And I was sad that I can't wear skinny jeans because I got ass. Yeah. I can't do it. It don't work for me. It makes yeah. me look like I have six asses. <laughs> It, it just don't work. It, the yeah. studs who say they they can't hit a woman, they can't hit a femme. Nigga, we both bitches. 
<laughs> if you don't watch that ass. Exactly, yo. I'm sorry. I'm totally sorry. against the whole hitting I'm, your girl, whatever. I'm sorry. But let's stop playing. Let's stop playing the game of life. Please. Let's stop playing house. Please. Let's stop playing I'm Please. the mommy and you're the daddy. Exactly. And daddy yo. shouldn't hit mommy because no. Y'all both bitches, you both girls. Just like if you randomly walking and you Real walk past talk. two regular ass chicks in the street and they fighting, you're, stopping you're up. just gonna stop and look. You ain't gonna feel yeah, away, you ain't gonna say, oh my God. God. Yeah. But because it's an AG and a femme, you seen that stud hit that yeah, girl? Like, that was fucked up, a stud should not be. Uh, stop looking at the clothes, yeah. okay? Cause under the clothes they got the same thing. Titties, exactly. ass, pussy, Everything it's all the same. You like, they got it's it. the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Both of them There's no wrong. like, that's that's all that's, that's a mental game. Like, that's, it's not even logical. That's, like. <laughs> that's more thinking on the straight mind. Yeah, like, you know? You're, everybody's a girl. I How about don't care, in general? I don't care. A stud should not be hitting the femme. How about in general? Can a stud hit another stud? It's okay because yeah, they both got yeah, baggy that's clothes. Because they got good. baggy clothes yeah, on. They so, both got on baggy clothes, so, so right. it works. It's but right. if your clothes is baggy and hers is tight, then nah. Shut up. Okay? Next. I don't even want to talk yeah, about that. So, no. stop <laughs> thinking in the heterosexual mind when definitely you're a homosexual. You know, at the end of the day, hitting is wrong, period. Whatever. If she it hit you, from. hit that ass back. If you want to Chris Brown, that's just it. And I know a I'm lot sorry. of films. I'm sorry. I, I, I done seen too many films beat they stud ass. Yeah, it goes right. I done seen that shit. I done seen that shit way too many times. Um, and be getting hit too. I never Keep your hands to yourself. Yeah, period. Unless, unless, unless it's in the bedroom and it's role playing. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm, I'm all, all for it. it. Yeah. <laughs> but um, another thing that they've been saying that uh, studs need to stop dressing ghetto. Studs need to stop doing it. You know, I guess with the baggy movement, they don't want to do it. I guess they want you to have a button up from time to time and a sweater. I mean, it all depends on where you live because, you know, everybody dressed differently in different places, different just, states. But what they're trying to say is... Don't do it all the dress time. Dress like, you know, you have a job. Yeah. Dress like you care about how you look. All that overly baggy shit, like... That shit ain't cute. The jeans, that's a size 40 and you're like 100 pounds. That shit ain't cute, I'm sorry. That's not... That was never the way. I mean, for me personally, I feel like every stud should own a button up in their closet. Just one. Just one. Own one. Because you never know where you have to go. And you can never go wrong with a black, blue, or a gray button up. This is true. That's it. You can a never button go... up in a pair of casual shoes. Yeah. Ain't gotta be Ain't gotta be Sunday's best. No, it doesn't. Just some nice casual, you exactly. know, anything that's not sneakers. You know Because you never yeah. know. You got you know, every we, now and then, you know, want to switch, switch it, it up, up, you know, do something else, spice Back, it up, yeah. and you'll look sexy. You'll like how you look. Yeah, exactly. After a while, the while you step it up to a tie and shit, yeah. you know. Well, but why not? If, just if, listen, if that ain't true, that's fine. But just own one shirt. Yeah, you just know? just to have. So, just um, to have. what's that one? The sun, yo, sun, yo, sun. Yo, yo set out, yo, nigga. yo, fam, yo, this shit was dumb crazy. Yo, ma, come here, <laughs> come on, ma, stop oh, fronting, yo. Nigga, yo, you seen it, yo, you peep shorty, yo, word, yo, son, yo, 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 shit was, was dumb crazy, crazy yo. yo. All that? <laughs> <laughs> nah. All that? Nah, fams don't like that all the time. Studs who don't know how to carry a regular conversation, they end every sentence with, nah, me, or feel me, or my nigga. A son, yo. Uh, Ain't nothing wrong with talking slang, cause we do, we do All it too. The time. We do it too, but it's switch it up. Yeah, like Throwing when you go in the real problem, world, yeah. can you can you have a, a actual adult conversation? Yeah. It like, can you talk on an actual intellectual level? Yeah, you know. You know what I mean? Cause it's actual like sexy. um, all girls ain't gonna fall for that. You know, yeah. you got the hood, hood rat nation. That's all for it, because they talk just like that, too. Uh-uh, so, you so stupid. I'm yeah. saying, that's my baby you go. <laughs> Yeah, you talk to them like that. But one day, you're going to see a fine-ass chick that you want to holler at. And she's actually educated, has a degree, went to high school. She, she, uh, yeah, because some didn't go to high school. Uh, yeah, um, you know, actually has an education. And you're going to walk up on her, yo. I'm saying, and then Jordan, grabbing, like, ah, and then grabbing. Ah, grabbing your crotch, yeah. rubbing your chin, yeah. you know, all the beard. that. Rubbing your chin, licking your lip, yeah. damn. And she's gonna be like, oh, no. Do you okay. have a job? <laughs> Show me and she's gonna talk to you. And she's and gonna make you, say, yeah. make you feel like you're fucking stupid. You're yeah. gonna think she's you're gonna, talking she's to gonna one gonna of your fucking teachers. Okay? And, uh, Step the vocab up. Go read a fucking book. If you don't even like reading books, just read a newspaper. Do something. Do something. Go on AOL. Yeah. Re watch the news, read it. And uh, 
But they, all that, uh, it's not it, working. Even, 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 I guess femmes have an issue with the way we text studs that I guess that's part not of the vocabulary. Me, not me, but you know, just saying studs are a lot of studs text illiterate. Ignorant. Probably with that new way that everybody texts, so it ain't just studs, it's uh, In the new the new generation yeah. of texters. Adding all the extra letters and shit. I don't yeah, like that shit work. either. It's kind of stupid, yeah, but that's whatever. Too much work. And then if you keep writing like that, um, you're, you're not gonna, gonna like know that. how to write properly when and it's time to send like out that. a real business-like email or do anything that has to do with the real world where they write properly. So um, um yeah. Hands so another thing. What's that? Trophy fems that studs like to show off. Okay. I know a few people like that. You know. They all yo look at my girl. She's if if they're bad. not with if they're not with them, you know they gotta show you a picture of their girl or whatever. Or you know, they walk in the club and they cuffing Cuffin. her extra hard. Um, yeah. Cause you know they feel like they got a prize, whatever. Um yeah, heard a lot of lot of uh, studs like that. They like to show their girls off if they feel like they got a piece of eye candy on their arms, and that makes them feel big about themselves. That's actually immature if you ask me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, that's like, what is it about? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it looks fade. Yeah. Does beauty stay? No, not at all. If it's inside, yeah. Mm-hmm. But besides so, that, but I'm, yeah, stop, stop, you know, doing a lot of stunting, I'm hearing. Yeah, stunting I heard, with yeah. the fam, stunting with uh, what they got, you know, going hard to buy that fucking thing that costs almost a stack just to say you got it, you know, stuff like that. Or renting cars. Pulling out two phones when neither one of them work, you know, shit like that. Yeah, or renting cars. Damn, <laughs> no, I, I'm just saying, you know, you Rent, see it, yeah. you see it. Renting cars. You know, li living the beyond their means yeah. just because, just the front and, you yeah. know, to try to snatch chick's attention. When niggas really don't care. So, yeah, um, so. And then you them. wonder why fucking films date films. Look at all the bullshit that y'all be fucking handing out, man. Yeah. Like, come like, on, Like, man. we ain't into studs or nothing, but if no. I thought about it, I'm uh, turned off. Yeah, I would be on <laughs> Okay? So, you know what I'm saying? I'm turned off myself. <laughs> studs, step this shit up, man. It's 2012. Making niggas look bad. Yeah, like, definitely look bad, man. I feel like we carrying the whole fucking weight over here. Man, get like a job. Like, really, y'all pulling the real nigga move. I'm just gonna be me for real in real life, nigga. I'm just gonna be me for real, nigga. Real life, nigga. That ain't what I'm trying to stand for, my nigga. That ain't what I stand for, nigga. Hate it or love it, my nigga. Hate it or love it, dog. But this is what I represent, nigga. This is what I